This is Fiamma, aka Cookie Girl, and welcome back to Fred Bow. Okay, so we're back, and we were supposed to free Mr. Midnight. So, can we use this key? doesn't fit uh, uh, I don't remember but yes I still fits there I'll be waiting oh no where <laughs> I don't see I don't remember anything let me check the bathroom um the bathroom Should be like this, right? So this has to come down like this. Okay, but uh, I have to move that thing. So no, not now. Let me check. What can I do with this one? Can I move it down? Okay. Um, up, down. So far, uh, uh, move it one more. Okay, wait a moment. Now I need to move all this stuff down, down, up. I have to move that one down. Oh my god, now it's it again like this. The annoying part. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about if I just Yes! Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> skeletons they're kind of small like me those are the twins oh sister promise we Clara and Mia who who helmet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decides for us with blood and tears we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back we don't stand this any longer. Even though we're sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can complete our task. 
The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Uh, mother must die? Maybe mommy wasn't good mommy at all. Oh, the key. What's this? Dual team? Those are the yellow ones. Yeah, what's the difference? Two headed dog? Must be the favorite toy. It's a blue rose head. I like it very much. How about this? Pearls. The sister have huge scar in the middle. Oh. They were sewn up together. Okay. So I got the key. And Mr. Midnight, let's get out of here. Yes, 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 I have it. Use it. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. <gasps> Aww. Aww, seriously. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, finally with Mr. Midnight. Oh, it feels so good and free, friend, my good friend. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Okay. So now let's just get out. Where is out? <laughs> Maybe through the window. This window, yeah. Okay, uh. Nothing here. Frog? I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. Finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. Aww. But how you'll get out of here? There's no boat. Hmm. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, hmm. it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. What can I do with him? This? Ah. Uh, how about this? Mm. <laughs> Let's how about this? Take this, Toad. It might help. Not a bakery bun, but you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Oh, what? The? <laughs> it worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous, though. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, friend. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us all. Alright. If he tries anything, I'll scratch him. <laughs> okay. That's okay. But try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep. And we don't know what kind of creature are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture and I thought it was yours. Oh. And this book was with it too. What's this? Oh, Toad, you find my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book's not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Oh, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> that toad. <laughs> okay. So we left. Oh, what's this? Wow, okay. 
have to jump? Wait, wait. Uh, how do I? How do I make you jump? I just. Okay, okay. I'll just wait for her. For the tree. Okay. Jump, jump, oh no, shouldn't have done that, okay, jump, jump, <gasps> jump, no, no, oh, jump, yes, oh my god, one more, come on, Toad, <laughs> I really like this part, I think I should jump right there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Did I finish? Yes. Oh, we got there. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for the ride. Oh. What should we do now? Find the, ba the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will appear. I'm so hungry and sleepy, I wanna go home now. Me too, kitty, we'll find a way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, what's this place? Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come on, I have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, can you go first, alright? Then... Oh, she said... He said he's going first. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Oh no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't fall. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Come on, friend. Let's go. I'm waiting for you. Friend, wait. What? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh. Oh no, 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 no. My dear can hold it anymore. I don't want to die. Die, my friend, come on, you can do it. Jump! What? Alright, here I go. <gasps> I caught you. <gasps> friend, no! <gasps> but he just jumped, just. He just jumped out. What the heck? <gasps> Don't be afraid, friend. Always fall, and after the pain, we will always rise. Who's that? So, mom, oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart's pure, but your mind's tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why don't you just take me out of here, please? You just leave me alone, like mother and father did all. 
sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aww. Run for your snow. Don't go. Please, please. What? Friend, it's time for your new medicine. a dream. <gasps> Where is Fran? What? Look. I have like a paw. <gasps> what happened? Oh, what happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? <gasps> I'm Mr. Midnight now. <gasps> These are Fran's stockings. One of Fran's shoes. Oh no. Oh, what an ugly trio. Scratch you evil thing. Kitty. Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fred, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fred, you are a tree. Be silly. Help me get up. Oh no. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. But what? How? Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you're a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. I'm going to die, Kitty. Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Oh, what? This Hopka Ikni Mehaula. Halke Halke Ikhrona Basku Hulani. Ikni Kolke Manti. Huh? Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Haluka Kolke Haluva. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Haluva. Haula. Rumna Ichni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Haula. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Haula Ichni. Nevanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. But... Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Oh yeah, he's a carrot. How about this guy? It's an old vegetable sitting in a boat. Okay. What's this? Oh, look! I see my friend's purse. Can I move this? Oh no. I need to get it. Okay, so not this way. Maybe we can go. Oh, look. What a strange shape. What is it? Can we get over there? No. Isn't working. But that's 
it's just perfect, we'll make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some things. Okay, we'll do something that I roll back, okay? Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. What can I do? Like, maybe I need a stick like this one. Crystal with this crystal with fox. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Fox. Okay. Got the purse <laughs> only because I'm the best. <laughs> He's so sassy, Mr. Midnight. To help you, friend, I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Oh. Oh, they just flew. Where are they taking them? Ah, oh, chapter three. Vegetative state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. we just started a chapter. Eggman Bulk, Menokaist Bess Yarni Haula Wanu, Ishmau Ibn Sorshka, Emitan Ulfriol, Gorshka Siar O. Welcome, creature. My name is CR. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Bai told me that you show him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them, little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will so show me everything. Seed? What seed? Oh. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, fruit. He'll eat it. Let me see. You're good, no doubt about that. A seeker of truth, very common for the bone family tree. What? Really? Ah, oh, your name is Fran. You're the girl with passion for life. I see great love toward this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of kings. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed. Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean, except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. That's the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand. 
Can you help me then? We can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. Oh, there must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree, you must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. No cat, come closer, let me see you. What's your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes I do sir, show us the way back home. I implore you. Uh, I have a question, are you the king? Uh, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. King of Etherstar. Oh, what an honor your highness. By the way, I like your leaves, they're very pretty. King, sir, please, would you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. And I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to be in some place where I feel at home, sir. I see. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home. But it's your own test to walk through it. Really? Well, thank you so much. And where's this door, sir? We'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That will be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. He must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. <laughs> okay. Our, your ears and tongue will be able to understand but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read, okay? Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible, did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness, I demanded fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, a little yes, I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Why are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? Oh, look at this. <sighs> to get more arm, to get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. <gasps> Whoa, wow. Okay. So, um, how is she supposed to get arms and legs? Ooh. <gasps> What's that? Sound like a catfish. Good day, my name is Valondras. Valondras? Okay, I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Exactly. This is such a huge. I just want to hug him. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. I 
can send me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the tree. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valok has created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? Alright, we wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, hmm. so who is this Valokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly. His heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Ithresta, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, it sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is that that you're here? What brought you to Ithresta? <laughs> Ithresta, <laughs> my kitty. And I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that followed me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. I would like to see you dead. That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Oh, okay. I think about think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being friend. You wanted to keep your life, so you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, but, sir, how? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? Well, I see. When you traveled to Etherstha, you opened the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, an unexpected creature yells, Oh no. If that happens, the balance will be tamed. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Oh, no cry. I can't see it's happening again. I just can't. Oh, it's so really cute looking. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spear of the water, give friend her arms and legs. Ooh, how do you feel, friend, from Etherstha? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical, it can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had, and you're fluffy and beautiful. I had other doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. An old man, hmm. But he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Ah, he's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Here we 
here again. Show CR the king what a nice ether stannis you've become. <laughs> ether stannis. Okay. Thank you again, doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That will be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, and we're done with all that. And I'm going to leave it here. And I guess we're just going to go find Mr. Midnight in the next episode of Friend Bo. If you like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye.